Hi, welcome back to our channel. Today, we've got something truly inspiring to share with you. Let's meet Dr. John Scharfenberg, a 100-year-old nutrition professor. He's not just your average centenarian, he's a living example of how the right choices can lead to a long, healthy life. Can you believe it? During 100 years of his life, he has never touched a drop of alcohol or a cigarette. If you're looking to live a healthier and longer life, then this video is for you. Are you ready to open the door leading to forever young? Say no to the term vegan. Let's start taking care of your health by paying attention to your daily meals. Well, I'll give you a university course in one second. Eat at the proper time. That means no snacking. Eat at the proper time. This is something you've probably heard a lot of nutritionists recommend. But probably not more than 50% of people here, ourselves included, actually follow those tips. But if you see Dr. John Scharfenberg, the best testament to how effective it is to maintain a good diet for 100 years of his life, we will change our habits for our own sakes. Okay. So let's start a healthy diet ASAP. There are quite a few people who keep their youthful appearance even though they are over 80 years old. All share that they have been vegetarian for most of their lives. But with Dr. John, is a little more special. And do you yourself eat any animal products like dairy or? I, I do, I'm a lacto-ovo vegetarian. I, I don't say I'm a vegan. I don't like the term. I say I'm a, I, I'd rather have the term total visitor. So maybe you're wondering, what is lacto ovo vegetaria? This is a type of vegetarianism which forbids animal flesh, but allows the consumption of animal products such as dairy and eggs. Unlike pescatarianism, it does not include fish or other seafood. A typical ovo-lacto-vegetarian diet may include fruits, vegetables, grains, legumes, meat substitutes, nuts, seeds, soy, cheese, milk, yogurt, and eggs. In India, such vegetarians are known as egetarian, which is a portmanteau of egg and vegetarian as Vegetarianism usually refers to lacto-vegetarianism in India. Seven keys to a long life. So we've come to today's main part. The question is, what is doctor's advice for a long life? Tip number one, become a total vegetarian. As what I've mentioned you, Dr. John is a lacto-ovo vegetarian. This eating pattern has been associated with a range of benefits, including reduced risks of obesity, heart disease, high blood pressure, type 2 diabetes, and certain types of cancer. Additionally, it contributes to lower cholesterol levels, decreases the likelihood of gallstones and intestinal issues, and supports overall well-being. While planning is essential to ensure sufficient intake of nutrients like protein, iron, zinc, and omega-3 fats, a well-designed lacto-ovo-vegetarian diet can successfully meet these requirements. Tip number two, avoid meat. Dr. Scharfenberg also recommends avoiding meat altogether. Meat can be high in saturated fat and cholesterol which can increase your risk of heart disease and other health problems. Which was the meat eaters. They had more iron, heme iron there. The, the iron in the meat is more quickly absor absorbed. So it's good from that standpoint. But it's increasing colon cancer, heart attack, and diabetes type 2. The academics, led by Dr. Karen Papier from University's Newfield Department of Population Health, found that every 70 grams of unprocessed red meat and processed meat that a person consumed daily raised their risk of heart disease by 15% and of diabetes by 30% after taking into account other lifestyle factors such as physical activity and alcohol consumption and body mass index. 
Tip number three, follow intermittent fasting. So I brought up my children on two meals a day. Doctor's family. I eat breakfast about 6.30 in the morning. Doctor wakes up about 4 and eats breakfast about 6.30. And then lunch comes 12.30 or 1. And that's it. That's right. You didn't get it wrong. His family really only eats two meals a day. No snacks. Surely many of you will wonder, eat like that? Will he feel hungry or not? But we say when you get hungry, drink a glass of water. I see. Ah, okay. So you don't, no snacks. Wow. How cool is it? He must have practiced a lot to avoid the temptation of delicious snacks, but this is worth it. Look at him at the age of 100. Tip four, eat fruits and vegetables. You know Dr. Scharfenberger really likes fruits and vegetables. Do you have any favorite vegetables? I'm trying to think what I like most. I kind of like snow peas, mm. but more fruits, tomatoes. But take a note for this. There is a problem with potatoes and you need to watch it carefully. They have a high glycemic. And you know what? The glycemic index of potatoes is even higher than ice creams. According to the doctor, eating a lot of green vegetables in your meals every day can help you reduce your risk of death. If they have a, a food that had vitamin A and vitamin C in it both, they could reduce their death rate about three quarters. Many nutritionists recommend that we eat lots of fruits and vegetables. If you want to maintain your youth and improve your health, add these foods to your daily diet. Tip five, drink purified water. According to Dr. Scharfenberger, the important thing that we need to improve for a good health is water. So I think water improvement was the biggest thing we did compared to any other country. Firstly, purified water ensures that your body receives the essential minerals required for optimal functioning, safeguarding your health and well-being. By eliminating harmful bacteria, it protects against illnesses, stomach discomfort, and nausea, making it a safe choice. Purified water also grants you the pure, natural taste of water. Tip six, exercise regularly. Exercise is extremely important. Ex According to Dr. John, exercise helps to keep your weight down. Exercise helps you with hypertension, is the best preventative for hypertension there is. Exercise helps to keep you from diabetes. In other words, if you exercise and you keep your weight down and you're on a vegetarian diet, you won't get diabetes. FYI, for every disease, we know overweight is going to increase your risk of dying. And another information for you, if you are obese, but you exercise every day, you will live longer than the person who is normal weight who doesn't exercise. Yes, that's what Dr. John said in the interview. So what are you waiting for? Get up and do exercise now. Tip seven, stay positive. Last but not least, mental health is very important if you want to stay healthy. When I get up in the morning, I'm so excited. Optimism can reduce the risk of anxiety and depression. It also can increase your level of physical activity. Not only that, optimism can improve your cognitive functions and memory. Optimism can improve your ability to form and maintain relationships. Might be you've heard this before. You can only live once, so live for yourself. Hope it will be useful to you. Stay healthy, stay fabulous, and see you in the next video.